You would not believe what this beautiful space used to look like. This was a parking lot that the buses used to come into and they would idle and uh, they would wait for passengers. And now it is this beautiful garden, musical garden. So yeah, the transformation has just been amazing. When we started events down here, there was nothing. So we started by creating the events in a parking lot um, on the streetscape. So probably from 10 years ago, saw that there was a need and a potential to add something here. It's accomplishing what the goals were in bringing people down here and building that community, that gathering space, a sense of pride in our downtown and what it has to offer. So Granville was looking for a connection, a pedestrian connection between downtown and the library. Um, currently at the time, it was a large open asphalted parking lot, um, not necessarily safe for pedestrians to make that connection, to make that walk through, and they wanted to make it safer, but they also wanted to create a place that they could hold events and do different things to kind of create a more vibrant downtown. And so uh, we were brought together as a team to help that happen. This project is in two parts. It's the commons, the addition to the library, as well as the Farmer's Market Pavilion. The pavilion was first established the need in a 2004 uh, downtown master plan. Uh, the library ex expansion, um, we realized we needed that in a 2008 space need study that recognized that libraries are no longer just for books, but also require ample multi-use spaces um, for all library use. The project is unique because the number of parties that had to come together to construct it. First, you need the City of Granville support, the Downtown Development Authority, uh, the Kent District Library, and also the Granville community. My goal as Downtown Development Director is to revitalize the downtown with mixed use, with residential, with more retail and restaurants. All of it's interconnected. If you're gonna try to attract a developer and get that mixed use and you want people to live in your downtown, you have to have places for them to gather and hang out. Space has been great, so beyond our ability to use it for all of our stuff, we collaborate with the city on all sorts of things. So the space is often in use, the city uses it for Citizens Police Academy, assessors meetings, clerk trainings, all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, it's a polling place, so just a few days ago people were here voting. Um, and then we collaborate with the DDA on all the big city events and it's often used either for part of that or for the volunteers or staging area for anything happening outside. We are most proud of the fact that it is so heavily used. Nothing's worse than designing and building a space and no one uses it and it's, it's empty and becomes a blight in the community. Here that hasn't happened. It is heavily used daytime, nighttime, weekends. Um, people use it. I've met people from outside of Granville who know about it, who have heard about it, who've seen it. And so for you know knowing people outside of the community who've been there, that's, that's great. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing. I love everything about it. It builds community, and that's what it's really all about. So my hopes for the future, I have so many. Um, but when you look at this space down here, um, if you walk around, there's so many little pockets and places where we can still do placemaking down here. I think any place where you add whimsy, where you add something that gets to the heart of a child, any place where children can safely hang out and parents can sit, um, just elevates the space. We have an entire structure behind you that's under new ownership and is ripe for revitalization. The downtown as a whole, I'm looking for mixed use and developers and downtown residential and more restaurants, more boutiques, um, and just a place where Granville is proud to come and hang out on a Friday evening, a Saturday evening, a farm market on Tuesdays, um, just continuing to find those pockets, bringing color and whimsy. Our goal for the future of this space is to make sure it stays flexible and that it's enjoyable for people to use, whether they're coming down here for our downtown businesses or they're going to the library, um, continue to host our many events in this space, and we hope that people continue to enjoy it.